Over the last few years, the role of enterprise networks and connectivity has become exponentially more important and it has transformed connectivity to what we at IDC refer to as connectedness because it's not about connecting a branch office to the HQ or a data center anymore. It's about how connected the overall organization is and how easily the data flows within the organization to achieve the stature of a data-driven digital business. And the networks are at the center of it all. The rise of cloud, AI, and 5G is redefining how businesses operate, enabling real-time insights, automation, and communication across the globe. The unification of fixed, mobile, and other networks such as satellite is becoming essential to support cloud-centric infrastructures and workloads. A wireless first approach to go along with cloud-first principles has become embedded in ICT planning for organizations and as they look at the best ways to transform their respective connectedness strategies. The outcome is a scalable and future-proof mix of wireless access technologies such as 4G or LTE, 5G fixed wireless access, or LEO satellite services to deliver on the promise of digital business models. IDC predicts that by 2028, 50% of enterprises in Asia Pacific will integrate LEO satellite connectivity, creating a unified digital service fabric that ensures resilience, ubiquitous access, and guarantees data fluidity. Identifying the connectivity mix required and integrating this diverse network mix, which includes fixed, mobile, and cloud connectivity into a unified architecture is one of the biggest challenge for organizations today. Businesses must also bring together fragmented data sources from these networks, which are essential for generating insights and analytics that drive better decision making. Ensuring the secure integration of these data sources across platforms while maintaining high performance is a complex task. Another key challenge for today's distributed organizations is ensuring security and network performance while keeping the operational costs in check. In addition to that, managing multiple vendors and connectivity across diverse geographical office locations, as well as meeting the upcoming regulations and ESG goals and mandates further adds to the challenge. Today, network investments are being made for strategic rather than tactical reasons. Organizations are rethinking their network architectures to support their DX journeys. However, this network modernization and transformation is not a straightforward process and it needs proper planning and execution, which often gives rise to the debate whether a DIY or a managed approach is better. And then, what characteristics to look for in your partner? Look beyond connectivity. Look for partners that deliver end-to-end -end solutions that can help integrate fixed and mobile networks, provide platforms to bring together overall digital infrastructure environment for your organization, and leverage AI, ML for enhanced operational efficiencies. Also consider the broader offerings portfolio of your partner, including programmable software-defined offerings, such as SASE framework-based solutions. Moreover, the ability to unify and analyze data from various sources through a single digital platform to help you understand what is happening on your networks at all times is critical for a digital business. In summary, consider a service provider that offers a comprehensive network, cloud, and security suite, has strong integration capabilities, and provides commercial flexibility to help you on your digital journey.